Alright folks, here with Court Cred, we got the basketball Baltimore phenom here with us, Josh Shelby. What's going on Josh, how you doing today? I'm doing good, this guy says he's been good now. That's <laughs> some new spot, what is it called? The Wingery. The Wingery. The Wingery. Just get my mother. <laughs> Me, Sean. Hello everybody. My everything. This is everything, he says Miss May Sean. Alright, alright. Well, this is the, this is day one of your diary we got a few things that we're gonna cover today um, I think the first thing that's most important is who is Josh Shelby um, a funny outgoing person down to earth keep it real um, a hard working person um, somebody who just want to be successful that's it let me ask you a question since you said that um, what would you define as success success um, well, to me, being successful is achieving your goals. Okay. So that's that's my definition of success. All right. Definitely a, a, a thing you want to do. You got to set goals, and of course, completing them and getting them done is the second part of that. So, where are you from? I mean, you from Baltimore? I mean, that, it might be a dumb question, but for those that don't know you, tell us, tell us that. From Baltimore. I grew up in two areas, Rosedale and um, Landville and Bartley. My mom, she's from Brentwood, which is uh, right around the corner. That's where I'm from. Okay, all right. Um, another question I got for you, man, is um, growing up, who were the basketball players, and we're talking about for Baltimore, who were the basketball players that you looked up to that you said, you know what, I want to make it like how they make it, I want to be big like how they are? When I was young, I looked up at Magic Johnson because uh, that was my mother's favorite player. So uh, by that being my mother's favorite player, I started watching him. And, um, I liked his game, and that's what I wanted to be like. Okay. Give me some Baltimore players that you, that you, you know. Well, to be honest, back then, growing up, um, I didn't know a lot of basketball players from Baltimore. How about now? Now, Melo, Mohat, and Rudy. That's okay. the three right there. There you go. Nice little lineup right there, I must say. All right. Um, oh, don't forget my man Dante Draper. Can't say it again. Dante Draper. <laughs> Can't forget him. That's my man. Tell us about him real quick. Oh. What, 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 what did you like about him? He just he showed me he about chair height. About chair height, stocky, tough guard, get to the basket, get his teammates some ball, play with a lot. And, I mean, a lot of heart and emotion. And Lord Turner, never get turned. Can't forget times. It's a lot of them, to be honest. You gotta get my cousin J. Y. Give them to me. Give them to me. Can't forget J. Y. And you can't forget Kimmy Angus. And Malcolm Delaney. That's my five right there. Well, six. I got six <laughs> man too. So you can't forget them. And um, you can't forget the young kids who growing up too at my age. Well, Roscoe, C. J. Jordan, A. I. Well, the whole league. The whole league. We shot it too, so uh, that's all the best Okay, all right, all right. Um, let's take it a step further. Uh, when does the season start up for Lake Clifton? Um, official practice start November 14th. First game is December 5th at Lake against Waluigi mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock prime time. Okay, you said November 5th, right? Make sure you're there recording that game. December 5th. There we go. You're going to get a lot of highlights. <laughs> Did you hear that, folks? So we, we look at, we're looking for the big thing. That's December 5th, not November 5th. December, December 5th. 5th. Okay. All right. That's Saturday. So Saturday. there we go. All right. So we're going to have something for the diary, the next diary we do. All right. So let me ask you this. 
What you like to do in your spare time? Spare time, uh, I like to beat my mama in bowling. <laughs> oh, what's up? My arms is up. There you go. Out there who like bowling. I'm the man. <laughs> like bowling. Um, like going to the mall shopping. You know, I like chilling with my homeboys. Well, they more like brothers to me. So okay. I like chilling with them, going out, maybe go to the club once in a while, um, and just work out. Okay. Work out even harder. Okay, there you go. Um, and thinking of the NBA, you, you know, you mentioned a few players from Baltimore that um, you know look up to or you know like how they play. Um, who do you think right now is at the top of their game in the NBA? To be honest, I'm going my own time. I'm not Okay. Um, you can't stop him. You know, he can push you if you're too small. If you big, tall, and slow, he gonna go right past you. Got a jump shot, do a lot of heart and emotion. He's just tough. See what he doing to the lead. I mean, what, first three games, what he had? About 38? <laughs> I said it all right there. So, I'm gonna go with Melo. All right. And, um, you know, if, if we were doing a diary on him, I mean, we can definitely say that we've seen some improvements, um, you know, over the years with him. Right. Um, I would say, I would definitely say, probably in the beginning of his career, it was strictly offensively minded. Right. There you go. And um, there you go. And I think one of the plays that I saw that caught my eye against uh, Utah stole the outlet pass and uh, tore the fur off of Millsap. So um, that's one of the things that, of course, we know is important defense. Defense wins games, as they always say. So uh, and they and they once again they tore that game up there too and came out with a W. Um, another question for you: Who was on your iPod probably an hour before the game? Hour before the game, on my iPod. Jay Z, um, Jay Z, Yo Gotti, Jeezy, and um, it's just one church song called "Strength" by John P. Key. My mother. <laughs> Put me on with it. That's what she was into church back then. <laughs> she still go with this morning. What you think? She go That's once in a while. I was in the gym actually. I was at the gym. That's why I ain't going to church. God knows our situation. That's between me and him. But um, <laughs> but yeah, Jay Z, Jay Z, and you got in Jay Z most definitely. I gotta listen to those three. Name is Josh Seven. Log on to corporate.com to check out my diary. Cause next week I will be talking about my future plans.